What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode we kind of uncovered a new mural, a little bit more to Galar's history, and now it is time for us to go into the Glimwood Tangle, I think that's what it's called. And uh, well, in the Glimwood Tangle you're going to be finding quite a few interesting Pokemon, and one of which I actually used in a previous team, and the other one I kind of have my eyes on. Look at that. They're right there waiting for us. Um, and this brings up the question, should I replace some of my Pokemon right here? I mean, there is going to be a Pokemon right here that I want to actually capture. And the cool thing about this is if you, if you touch the mushroom right here, you will be able to light everything up right here. Now, if you touch the mushroom right here, you might be finding a Pokemon. And there it is. Bam! So, say hello to Impidimp right here, guys. This Pokemon is one of the Pokemon that I actually captured back in, I believe, my Sword or Shield walkthrough. And, uh, well, it is an interesting Pokemon because it can grow up to be both a Fairy and Dark-type Pokemon. A very, very reliable Pokemon. Uh, I believe it's Grimmsnarl. So, yeah, I'm going to try and capture this guy right here. And then... You know, in late, in, I'm going to leave it down under the comment section. I'm just going to leave it to you guys, whether or not if you guys want me to switch uh, switch up my po switch some Pokemon from my from my team right here. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and throw a heal ball at this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right here. And come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. There you go, clickety clack. We got ourselves an Impidimp. And well, more experience words for all of us right there. And let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So Impidimp, both dark and fairy type Pokemon. Through its nose, it sucks the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off of negative energy. All right, so let's go right ahead and give this guy its nickname, and I kind of need to find out what the nickname is, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and yeah, we did nickname this Pokemon Beelzemon after the uh, Digivolution of Impmon back in, I think, the Tamers, uh, the Tamer season of uh, Digimon and all that stuff. So again, guys, uh, I did capture Beelzemon for a reason. That way... I can leave it on the comment section for you guys to actually choose whether or not I should switch uh, some of my Pokemon on my team. Because like I said early on in the, in, in, in the start of this walkthrough right here, not all these Pokemon are going to stay the same. There are some Pokemon right here that I'm actually using as a kind of, a, you know, how should I say it? Uh, I'm simply trying them out to see how good they are and all that crud. Because eventually, once we get into, you know, the later episodes, later gems and all that stuff, and on top of that, uh, the extra stuff of Pokemon Sword and Shield, we will be using quite a few different Pokemon, including older Pokemon that we used before. And look at that. Growing some more levels right there. And here comes a Sinisty. A, a pretty cool Pokemon right there. Sinisty. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Kiss right here. Hmm. Kiss. About to destroy everybody. And, uh, you well, know, he is looking like a, a mean guy right there. Look at this guy. He's pretty fantastic. And Sinisty is a pretty interesting Pokemon itself. Um, I am pretty sure that Sinisty has different forms, different versions. I think rare types, a rare form to it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, again, comment down below. Be a little more, uh, you know, uh, a little more, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, social right here, I guess. And look at that. My Pokemon growing levels again. Shinotic. Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight to Blitzkrieg. And see what Shinotic or Shinotic can, can, can do right here. So here we have Blitzkrieg. And look at this guy. It's a fairy and grass type Pokemon. So obviously, Poison Jab will do its thing right here. So here we go. Poison Jab for the win. Look at that. She notic. Is she eating notic? Still trying to pronounce that name right there, guys. And well, there we go. And Cook Derek has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's move on right here. Now this is in uh, this is an area where you can actually find yourself a Galarian Ponyta 
And, well, let's go right ahead and light this thing up right here. That way we can actually find our way through this whole area. And grab this. And would you look at that. A bright powder. An item held by a Pokemon. It casts a tricky glare and lowers the opposing Pokemon's uh, accuracy. Now, off into the distance there is the evolutionary form of uh, Impidimp. And we're going to get the heck away from here. Obviously, an Impidimp is looking or it's waiting for us right here. So we're just going to be moving forward, trying to see where we can actually go. And well, here we found ourselves a two full heals. Definitely something that we actually need. And, well, let's see. Click that one right there. We won't be finding some interesting Pokemon. But there is an item right there. Found ourselves a big root. And, let's see. Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and click this thing right here. Before we battle anybody, let's go into this section and see if we can actually find some other rare items. And yes, we have found another rare item right here. This is a TM24 Snore. And that will actually help uh, any kind of Pokemon who who is asleep uh, actually attack while they're asleep. And let's grab this little item right here. Two Hyper Potions. Click on that. And we have found ourselves another item right there, but there's something okay preventing us from doing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. You know what? Um, let's see. Let's go with Michelangelo right here. Okay, so let's go click on this and battle this lady right here. Some mushrooms react in a interesting ways when you touch them. Hmm, you don't say. I probably didn't figure that out. Okay, so here we go, taking on Madam Judy, and she will be coming out with Indeedy. Indeedy. And Indeedy. You can actually find Indeedy here. Uh, two different kinds of Indeedys, to be quite quite honest, guys. Um, and it all depends on the, the version that you're actually playing right here, so just be aware of that. Obviously, I am... Uh, obviously, I'm going to be trading for uh, for one of them right here, or I probably have somebody storged and in, stored into my Pokemon bank or something. And well, that did not make this Pokemon faint, so let's go right ahead and use a waterfall attack. And there you go, Indeedy has been Indeedy defeated. And well, there's more experience points for all of us right there, and she's coming out with another Indeedy. This is uh, this looks like a shot for Shadow Blade right here. So again, guys, I will be switching up Pokemon. If you guys have Pokemon in mind for the later episodes right here, comment down below, and I will try and capture these Pokemon. Um, again, I'm trying to keep it native. That's why you guys kind of see that don't don't really see some of the other Pokemon from other versions right here. So if you guys have any native Pokemon in mind that you think I should try, comment down below, and I'll keep that in mind right there. And well, look at that, Drill Peck is actually doing its thing. So let's go with a fly attack, and here comes a side beam. This will not work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shadow Blade. Let's go fly like an eagle. And the Sarmon voice will not hit this eagle. And there we go. Indeed he has been defeated. Okay, alright. And well, there's more experience points for all of us. And Judy has been defeated. Yeah. Alrighty, okay. So let's go right here, and would you look at that. We're getting attacked by a Morgrim, the evolution of Impidimp. And yeah, we're not yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk away. Walk away like an adult. Okay. And we're gonna go right here and click on that. See if we can actually find that item, and there it is. Found ourselves a Luminous Moss, an item held by a Pokemon that boosts the special defense of a holder if it hits, if it's hit with a water type attack. It can only be used once, which kind of sucks because, you know, kind of wish you could actually use that more than once. And here we found ourselves a TM56, the U-turn attack. And obviously this is for a bug type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. I think we've reached the very end of this whole location right here. We still need to battle the couple and capture. Yeah, we need to we need to capture Ponyta, Galarian Ponyta. So, 
I think off, uh, like off screen, I will be capturing Galarian Ponytail, guys. That's another Pokemon that I'm thinking of using. So again, comment down below if you want to see different Pokemon onto my team. If so, comment down below on what Pokemon you want to see. So here we go, taking on oh, some pretty interesting Pokemon: Ninetales and Curlia. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with the Waterfall. And Curlia, you're gonna be getting a steel a steel wing because, well, it is a steel type Pokemon. So here comes an Incinerate attack and Crap Basket. Okay, so that that will that will that actually hit two people at once. And there we go, Steel Wing for the win. Wow, first time ever. Okay, alrighty, and well, let's go right ahead and finish off uh, Nine Tails right here. And Nine Tails. Taken out just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and well, Michelangelo grows level 36. We are victorious. And uh, well, they are not happy, I guess. Not happy at all. So let's just move on right here. And that was a specific Pokemon. Now, I think Galarian Ponytoes are a little rare. Rare to find right here. So we're just going to be making our way right here, guys. Off screen, I will be capturing different Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, you guys are going to definitely find something. But here we are in Bella, Bologna. 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 I can't even pronounce that. But there is the gym or the stadium. And, well, this place right here is going to be an interesting one. Because in the next episode, we will be facing off against B or not not B but you know who I'm talking about we're gonna be facing off for our next badge so thank you guys again for watching the next episode there's gonna be a gym battle I will see you guys next time see you guys